All right, so what amplifier uh, should I choose or do you have available for the Clover 26 inch? Uh, there's basically three options or three categories that we have available. Uh, the first is the, what I guess I would call professional broadcast uh, network level amplifiers. And um, for that category, we have two options. Uh, the Sound Devices MM1 is the amplifier that is used for most um, NFL broadcast. It's been around for a long time. It's extremely rugged. Um, it accepts an XLR um, microphone and has a, a headphone output. It also allows for the input of a, a separate uh, audio input so that the um, sound guy in the truck can actually give directions to the operator on the sidelines. Now mm -hmm. there's a second, second option uh, from Whirlwind. It's the Whirlwind MD-1. It is um, it has the same features, again, very rugged. Uh, it's used by the broadcast television people uh, regularly, but it's uh, maybe not quite as rugged as the MD-1. Uh, it has a sheet metal case as opposed to a, an extrusion, aluminum extrusion case. And because of that, it's a little lighter in weight. It's a little less expensive. Both are very good options. Um, both are you know, fairly, fairly pricey um, amplifiers, but very good products. Then the second category is what I would call the, the non-broadcast uh, amplifiers. Uh, the first is the uh, Beach Tech Micro Pro, uh, DXA Micro Pro. It uh, can accept either an XLR or a 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone uh, connector. And it, again, will um, accept that microphone. It will provide the power needed for the microphone. Uh, and it will send the output to um, a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, so it, uh, you can't transmit the audio for you know, hundreds of feet like you can with the, the professional versions. Um, it is battery operated, so it can be mounted directly uh, on the Clover mic. But again, uh, the output is not really broadcast uh, level as far as the, uh, the configuration of the output. Now, the second option is a uh, AC powered unit. Again, it can uh, accept XLR or 3.5 millimeter. It provides a 3.5 millimeter um, output. So it, it's good for if you want to bring the uh, audio output into a computer or uh, audio system that uh, is close by. It can't uh, transmit the, the output for hundreds of feet like the professional models. models. And then finally, the third option is uh, an audio recorder. Uh, some people want to record the audio, you know, right uh, on the uh, parabolic. So we have two options. Uh, the Zoom H4 is a very popular, very well-known audio recorder, accepts either 3.5 or XLR uh, microphones, has a headphone output so the operator can listen to what's being recorded. And um, if necessary, it can provide the 3.5 millimeter uh, output, audio output to send to a computer or et cetera. I believe it also has a USB if you want to uh, connect the recorder to a USB uh, port of your computer, you can do that as well. And then the last option is the Zoom F1. It's the, the least expensive, uh, smallest, lightest weight. Uh, it only, it actually comes with its own 3.5 millimeter microphone. It doesn't have the uh, ability to send the output, I don't believe, but it does have a um, a headphone uh, jack so that the operator can listen while the audio is being recorded. So we basically we have six uh, amplifier and recorder options uh, available.